Okay, I've got everything I need in front of me to start painting. I've got some different drinks. I've got an ice cube tray that's going to work as my palette. I've got a paintbrush, I've got a pencil, and then I've got something to make a circle with as well. These drinks were made on the hob, I concentrated them so they're a lot thicker than if I just used normal coffee or normal tea. And I'm just going to show a quick video about how I did that. Okay, so on the hob I've got two saucepans. On the left I'm going to make tea and on the right I'm going to make coffee. In the tea I'm going to put one, two, three tea bags in. And in the coffee I'm going to put one really big heaped teaspoon of coffee. And then I'm going to pour water over just to cover. And put the heat on. Whilst these are heating I'm just going to stir them gently. So now I'm at a stage where both of these are bubbling away. I want to keep doing this until about two thirds of the liquid is gone. So I'm left with one third of the water I started with. When you've got about two thirds gone, just turn the heat off and wait for it to cool down. When these have cooled down enough, you can just pour them into some glasses. And wash them up. So to start experimenting, I'm just going to draw myself some circles on the piece of paper here and then add some shading to them using the drinks. Okay, so using coffee, I'm going to shade in this circle. I'm going to imagine there's some light coming in from the top corner. I'm going to use this light watercolour, so first I'm going to give myself a wash. This is going to be my highlight here. And then I'm going to use some coffee to add in some shadows. And I'm going to use the ice cube tray like a palette. I'm going to create some different dilutions of the coffee. We're going to let that dry and then I can add another layer to it once it's dry. Whilst I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do another sphere and I'm going to use cranberry tea this time. So again, I'm just going to put a wash where my highlight is. And then the cranberry tea in the shadows. And using my palette again to mix different solutions. I'm going to try one more using grape juice. And then just allow those to dry. Okay, now this first layer is dried, so we can go over the top of it. Just one thing to note is this cranberry tea has come out blue as it's dried. So I've just painted some fresh cranberry next to it and you can see it's gone from that red and then dried to quite a dark blue. So that's one thing to note when you're going and painting is that this colour is going to change quite a lot as it dries. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to layer up and get some darker shades in here. So layer up another layer of the coffee. Cranberry. And the grape. Now on this bottom row of spheres, I'm going to do another experimentation where I'm mixing together instead. So up here I just did two layers of grape, two layer of coffee and two layer of cranberry. Here I'm going to mix. So I'm going to start off mixing coffee and cranberry. Three different teas. So I've got a green tea, a normal tea and a cranberry tea. And then for my final sphere, I'm going to do a mix of cranberry and grape juice. And again, I'm going to let that dry. And then if I need to, I can add another layer on top. Okay, I'll let that dry one last time, went over it again, and then I've finished my experimentation now. I've got my really dark darks, and I've still got my highlights in there, and I've experimented with mixing the materials. From this, I can see what I like, and what I might want to take into the next task.